watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success. From the Total Success Coach, Princess Bola Adelani. Hi, this is Princess Bola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to inspire success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. I thank you so much for tuning in. And wow, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? Um, you know, I took a few months, um, but it's great to be back. And it is fall already in Connecticut. Um, the leaves are changing. And for those of you who are familiar with, you know, Inspired Success and who've been following me and the programs that I produce for quite a while, you also know that in the fall, our girls fall in line. Yes, our girls fall in line at the third annual Total Women Conference for Girls and Young Women on Saturday, October 20th, 2012 at the University of Connecticut, Greater Hartford Campus. And so today, I just thought, you know what? What better conversation should we be having? Um, you know, it should be a, a, around young women. And so today, I have in the studio with me a panel of dynamic. When I say dynamic, I really mean it, because you know that Princess Bola always works only with the brightest and the best. Yes, a dynamic panel of amazing women. And we're going to be having this conversation. Is there any debt that we really truly owe our next generation of women? And how do we lead them? So I, it is with great, great, great pleasure that I welcome to Inspired Success, Jill. And Jill is you. with the Governor's Prevention Partner. Yeah, pre partnership. Pa partnership. Yes. Okay, yes. Yes. And uh, you're the executive director. That's correct. And um, it's a real great honor to have you on Inspired Success. Thank deal. you. Thank you so much for being here. And of course, seated next to her, um, to the, the Hartford Latina community, um, Marilyn Alvero is no stranger. Um, she is the founder of Latinas and Power Symposium, and also the CEO of Ethnic Marketing Solutions. And so it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Inspired Success, Marilyn. Okay. And to my immediate right is, oh gosh, an amazing woman. <laughs> she's strong, she's amazing, she's a woman of God. Um, she's a grandmother, she's a great grandmother. <laughs> she's raised um, um, four daughters mm -hmm. and um, oh, so many, she'll tell us more about the granddaughters and the great granddaughters. And, um, you know, she definitely is ideally credentialed to talk about, you know, leading the next generation of women. Her daughter is in the studio with me. <laughs> She's seated to my right. Um, she is Dania Mag is it McGee? Yes. Right, okay. I always kind of mix that up a little. Um, my accent, you know, <laughs> often kicks in here and there, you know. And so um, she is the president of Iron Sharpens Iron Mentoring, as well as a minister, and the mother of, the proud mother of Trené. <laughs> So you see, we have a, 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 like three generations of women already right here in the studio that we wanted to um, make this as diverse as possible and wanted to bring different angles, you know, mm -hmm. different angles, um, you know, and different kind of perspective to the conversation. So it is my great honor as well to welcome Trené McGee to Thank Inspire you. Success. She's a college student and um, she's also a nominee of our Young Women of Distinction 
Awards, uh, um, which is part of the Total Woman Conference, and I'll be sharing more with you. So as you can see, I mean, obviously, this is an amazing panel of women, and we're going to really be talking about, like I said, leading the next generation of women, you know, the real debt that we owe them. And, you know, before we get into that conversation and really kind of dive in, I just want you to share with viewers, you know, there's nothing like hearing it from the horse's mouth, as they say. <laughs> and tell them a bit more about what you do, how, you, um, you know, the work you do impacts okay. um, the next generation. Um, and, I, and I'd like to start with you, Jill. Okay, well, thank you so much, Princess. You know, I've been working for the last 15 years to establish the Connecticut Mentoring Partnership, and that's a network of mentoring programs throughout Connecticut that does reach down to that next generation. Mm. Our goal is to get many, many more adults involved because, unfortunately, there's so many children that want to mentor now, and not enough adults are finding out about it. Mm. Um, I think that what it takes is people leading from the heart and, and each person inviting someone else in. But I agree with your opening statement that we do have to reach back and help children that are behind us to, to move up. Mm. So um, I can talk a lot more about it. But, yes, um, but there's obviously information as well on your yes, website. Yes, that's which correct. Is, um, yes. Governor's Prevention Partnership. Or it's PreventionWorkCT.org. Okay, PreventionWorkCT.org. Yes. Org. You yes. can learn more there. That's and, right. And, and, and then with you, Marilyn, I know that you do work. Um, with um, with younger women, the next generation. Tell us a bit more about your program and how you work with um, with younger women, and what actually inspired you to kind of, uh, to uh, to found your organization. How old is it? Um, uh, well, my business is ten years old, and mm -hmm. the Latinas in Power Symposium is ten years oh, old. Oh wow! So yeah, you pretty so much kind I, of yes, started right from the very beginning. Years. I knew it was part of my responsibility. Mm -hmm on my journey in life to uh, share the strategies for success that I have been fortunate enough to gather along the way in my life and in my career. And so I encourage others to do the same. And I think, you know, folks like you and the rest of the women on the panel are the kind of women that are usually doing this kind of work. We have a passion for it. Uh, and, and I really believe that it is part of our purpose in life. Yes. Uh, and so then when women like this connect with each other, mm -hmm. it is so electric mm -hmm. for us to have dialogue and conversation and say, what else can we do for this next generation? Mm -hmm. So it's absolutely amazing. But I have to say yes. that you're contagious. Yes. <laughs> and right. your Thank energy, you. this is my first yeah. time meeting you, however, I have seen you everywhere, <laughs> and um, and so I was. It, I, I'm glad that I went out to your uh, website to to find out a little bit more about you and thank your fascinating you. background. And I thank you for doing this kind of work. Thank um, you. For me here today, it's yes. Hispanic Heritage Month um, mm -hmm. all over okay. the United States. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so here in Connecticut, we are celebrating it in many different ways. And so I've been asked to speak at different colleges, different events, just to talk about the accomplishments that Latinos are doing today. Yes. And so this is um, part of my tour here yeah, uh, in New great. England to do this kind of work. And, and hopefully in the dialogue that we have, we can talk a little bit more about what I do with the Latinas in Power Symposium. Okay, great, great. Thank you, thank you. And then, you know, they say it takes a village. I forgot yeah. to actually even mention, did I mention your name? Gardenia, Gardenia Dixon. Dixon. Yes. And, you know, it, it takes, um, you know, a village to raise, um, you know, a, a child, they mm -hmm, say, mm -hmm. and all of that. And you have raised a village. Yes, I've raised <laughs> of, a village. Of, 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 of women, yes. really, literally. Yes. Yes. And, um, you know, tell us, I mean, you know, how you kind of not, not fell into that role because you you know you chose obviously to have mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. but how has it been for you in terms of raising um strong articulate um women well it really began with my mother okay and they said charity begins at home first and then it spreads abroad so when my mother taught me that i should know who i am who, what I should do, how I should present myself, mm -hmm. it wasn't hard to pass it down to the four daughters that I had. God blessed me to have four daughters, and he also blessed me to have grandchildren, which are daughters. <laughs> and so it, it says once you start at home, then you spread it abroad. Yeah. And then we take it, I took it into the community. 
I also work with women, um, building their self-esteem, who they are. Yes. And, uh, and when they are built up, they can build up their daughters. Mm -hmm. You know, so I've had the opportunity, and I'm still having the opportunity to, to minister to women. Yes. And, you know, finding their places, you know, and, and standing up for who they are. Everybody didn't have the same uh, mentoring as I did from my mother. Yes. And so I'm able to pass it along. And it's a passion. Yes, it's a passion. I, you just can't keep it to yourself. Yes, it's I a passion. Know. So I, I, I'm always mentoring other people's children. Right. And now we're going to come back to what it really means to mentor because mm -hmm. I, I think people get thrown by that word, mm. you know, and because they're formal ways of doing it and they're informal ways mm. of doing it and who really is a mentor and all of that. We're going to talk about that. And I'm sure that, Jill, you can really add, um, you know, add, give us some... Um, some great insights um, when we get to that. But you also founded, um, you're a minister, you're a yes. social worker yes. by your training um, and background. And so, you know, you know how it is to work with yes. people and women and, and with, with all kinds of different kind of challenges. Mm -hmm. But you also founded a faith-based um, yes. organization that's um, Iron Sharpens Iron Mentors. You know, how does your organization work with um, the next generation of women? Well, Iron Sharpens Iron, the Pearl Society is two components to it. It's the Pearl Society, which are the women, and the Sons of Thunder, which are the young men. But uh, it's a holistic approach that we take to building up the young ladies and catapulting them to their destiny, to the places in which it was designed for them to go. So in order for us to do that, we do various community events. We do dressing for success. We teach them how to dress for interviews. We teach them how to speak well, public speaking, how to introduce themselves. We teach them how to carry themselves in certain atmospheres, um, dressing for certain occasions and atmospheres. Um, we also do career searches and career um, events where we have people out in the community to come and expose them to a variety of different professions out yes. there, not just college, but some kids. And we help them to identify what their strengths are. We help them to identify what even what their weaknesses are so they can work on those things. But what their talents and their gifts and their skills are, we help them to identify those things and then we put them on the track to training and, and exposure. Exactly. Well, and what inspired you? Because that is very similar. You know, everyone seated here in one way or the other is working with the next generation mm -hmm. of women. And that is what inspired, you know, me. For me personally, what inspired me is, um, you know, seeing that the, a need. Mm -hmm. Seeing a need. Absolutely. I am one of those women that didn't have the privilege, mm -hmm. like you said, of being raised by a mother. Mm -hmm. you you know, my mother died when I was just 18. It was at that age where, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know, I was just coming into womanhood mm -hmm. and needed a strong female figure in my life to kind of mentor me through life. Mm -hmm. And that was when I, I lost her. So I never had that. And so it created a, a vacuum in my own life and really growing up mm -hmm. knowing that I had that need and yearning to have someone over my life because, of course, certain choices I made, I would not have made them, mm -hmm. you know, and I had the Absolutely. right kind of influence. Yes. So that was kind of my inspiration for now wanting to give back. Now that I've navigated and, you know, kind of through trial and error, basically found myself where I am by the grace of God in a better place. You know, I said, you know, hey, we need to catch them young. We need Absolutely. to start catching their 18 year old, Absolutely. you know, that child that I was at that time that didn't have a biological mother. But, you know, we could do it in so many different ways. And that is how I came about the Total Woman Conference, you know. For girls and young women, you know, women are just my my passion, you know, that's my calling. Anything I do is women, but, you know, that was what inspired me to begin a program that was particularly tailored to was younger women, mm -hmm. you know. And so I, I guess the next conversation, before we bring you in, um, Trené, I know you're really waiting to get into the conversation, um, but, you know, there, there's a whole lot of conversation, especially politically right now, about the debt we owe 
the next generation. You know, we heard a lot of that at all the national conventions, you know, about, you know, we must not leave them a debt, a debt, 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 debt. And, you know, and, and one school of thought says that, you know, they, we owe them nothing. I've heard, you know, people say that to me, you know. I don't owe my kids anything. They have to pay their way to college. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pay for them to go to college. You want to go to college? You go to college, you know. That kind of attitude. And they, they label them as the entitlement generation. And, you know, I, when I hear things like that, out about the debt we owe them, and, you know, they're talking about financially, you know, we don't want to leave trillions of dollars to them and all of that. I began to say to myself, do we owe the next generation anything? Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to start with you, Trini. Do you feel that your predecessors, you know, the ones that have gone before you, owe you anything? Is there an entitlement that you feel you have? Is there an expectation that your generation has? Or um, what would you say? Most definitely. I think that like with teens and young adults, we live in like a now type of moment. A lot of times when you ask a teen what they want to be when they're older, they just simply don't know because we're living in a moment right now. And so I believe that this is such a critical and formal part of our lives. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we have, you know, women who are able to help and identify with us, it makes, it, it, first of all, it makes life a lot easier. You know, and I've heard so many young women say, no one understands me. Like, no one truly understands who I am and where I'm mm -hmm. coming from. And it's because, you know, she doesn't have that type of um, example, you know, of a mentor to look up to, to really be able to um, talk with her and identify with her. You yes. know, I, I, I do believe that... Uh, there's a debt, something yes. old, but yes. is it is it financial? Is it you know, or I, I, like you said, I, I, you, it, it's more of um, you know a, a mental, emotional um, kind of nurturing, supportive um, um, thing than as opposed to really maybe a financial thing. What would you say? I believe. I believe it's many different things. I believe it's all different elements. And look, financially, my mom has taught me about a credit score. You know, like, I knew nothing about that. You know, before going off to school, I didn't know much. But I had to, you know, trying to be independent and gaining that independency, um, I had to know how to fill out a check. You know, yes. so I think there are many avenues to what we are, to what we need. Okay. You know, mentally, financially, um, physically, all types of things, you know, go along with... Um, truly developing, you know, like truly being a young woman, you know, yes. like m there are many things that you should know. And so you've heard it. You have heard it. Mm -hmm. We do actually, they're, they're, what she's saying, you know, she's representing her generation and basically saying, yes, we need you. Mm -hmm. We need you, the older Absolutely. women. We Most need definitely. you to set the example for us. We need you to show us the way. You, we need you to give us the information, you know. We're at a point in our life, like she said, now moment we very limited in our exposure and experience. So we need you to pass on the wisdom to us. Mm -hmm. You've heard it. So we do have a debt that we owe. That, 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 that you would say that. And, and so what would you say? Is there a debt that we owe? I and think what absolutely. Is it? And you know, I'm so, we're sitting here with beautiful women and a daughter of a mother and a grandmother that yes. had opportunity of, of wisdom. But I think about children whose souls and hearts aren't filled with that. Yes. And they might have the material possessions. Yes. And, and you know, all the thing, the, the computers and everything that yes. they want, but they're sitting alone playing a computer yes. game. And where, where is that support? Yes. So I worry about the hearts and the minds of our young women women um, who aren't as fortunate to have the family that you have. And that, that's where my heart goes. I'm getting goosebumps just talking yeah, about exactly. that. Exactly. And, and, yeah. and you've heard it. And so we create platforms. We create mm -hmm. avenues where we bring at a conference like this on October 20th mm -hmm. at UConn. Go to TotalWomanConference.com at a platform like this where, you know, there, no, there may not be any biological connections, mm -hmm. but you can still come and tap into the wisdom mm -hmm. of other women, other successful women in all the areas of, 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 of life who can really help you to... Um, to navigate. So you, you've talked about, yes, we do owe them that support, yes, that, that, that. What would you say is the debt that we owe them, if any, Marilyn? Well, you know, first of all, you know, the title of this program I absolutely love, Leading the Next Generation. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I think is very important for us to um, come to terms with 
is that this generation is very different than any other generation mm -hmm. that has ever existed because of technology yes. and because of all of the advances that we have had in our world today that makes their experience very different than ours. Mm. So for example, Absolutely. there are things that we are responsible for mm -hmm. passing on. Mm -hmm. One of them is social skills. Mm -hmm. yes. Because this generation is so involved Absolutely. with technology Virtually, that exactly. so many of them do not know how to have a conversation yeah. yes. mm -hmm. such as today, mm -hmm. I commend you for having uh, raised a daughter that can express herself in the way that she has. I mean, I didn't learn about my credit score until it was too late. <laughs> I did not know what a credit score was until I was in my 30s and said, what do you mean I can't get it? What do you mean I have no money left? What do you mean I can't get any more money? What does that mean? And so, and even balancing a checkbook, mm -hmm. I learned yeah. later on because in my, in my family, I come from a very Puerto Rican, uh, wonderful, uh, loving family, but my parents were not educated. My mother had a third grade education and my father a fifth grade education, and neither one of them had a checking account, mm -hmm. had a banking mm -hmm. account, had a lot of the things that I had to learn later on. Yes. So it is my responsibility Absolutely. to share that with that next mm -hmm. generation. Absolutely. My biggest concern now is, though, for women who do not have the kind of exposure that we see on this panel today mm -hmm. that are falling through the cracks and the work that you're doing is absolutely fantastic as you know uh, the conference that I have put together is because that is my give back yes. that is what I do that's not what I do for work it yes. is what my additional responsibility mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. in putting together a platform for in my case Latinas to come together to share those strategies for success. Absolutely. And we have now included a component that includes uh, high school girls. And mm -hmm. uh, we, um, we call it the um, Latinas in Power um, Youth Initiative yeah. and Institute. And we incorporate a full day of workshops designed just for these high school girls called Realizing Your Destiny. These girls need to be selected from their schools to participate in this conference, which is in the middle of the week. Yes. So not just because, you know, you get to get out of school, but because you're going to come here to really learn something and then share it with but, the yes, rest of your, of your colleagues. Your colleagues. So, yes. yes. So basically, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we, look, we talk about corporate social responsibility. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's mm -hmm. a huge thing now. Mm -hmm. You know, we expect you know, um, corporations to give back, mm -hmm. you know, to support causes mm -hmm. and from the communities that they serve, that they profit from, mm -hmm. okay? So if there's all that buzz about corporate social responsibility, hello, there must be individual mm -hmm. social Absolutely. responsibility, right. you know? Mm -hmm. So we must be responsible. And yes. part of that responsibility, you said, is you know, teaching different kind of skills. Mm -hmm. That's what I've heard yes. so far. Yes. You know, the teaching skills, equipping them, yes. positioning yes. the next generation to advance, to take it to the next level. Absolutely. It's like we're handing over the baton Absolutely. to this one. Mm -hmm. And so we, how we train them, mm -hmm. you know, the training process mm -hmm. is going to really determine mm -hmm. how well they do across the finish line. Mm -hmm. And so we have a responsibility to make sure they're going to catch up and they're going to even go ahead of yes. us yes. and they take it further. Mm -hmm. And then the next Absolutely. one take it further. Mm -hmm. So I need to say something because Dina said something very important with what the work that she is doing, and that is that not all students um, want to go to college mm -hmm. or have to go to college. Mm -hmm. There are other options out there. I just loved what you said about let's develop the skills that yes. they have that they're interested in so that they have an opportunity to be able to be part of society. Absolutely. We're talking about investing in our future and their future and our society, period. Mm -hmm. So when you look at it that way, you say, okay, well, everyone has something to give. Everyone Absolutely. has something to be able to participate. So that 
developing, developing the kind of skills that they need that are relevant yes. in yes. today's world are extreme, is extremely so, important. So, I mean, very, very, very important, um, you know. So basically, the consensus is yes. There Can is, I speak on yes. behalf of a grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> it is yes. It is yes. You're going to speak. I just want to speak on behalf yes. of the grandmother. Okay. We are here to support them. Yes. You know, like when they're babies and they grow, we just don't drop them when they're toddling along. There's different phases of life. So, okay, when they turn 18 and leave, leave high school, going to college, we just don't drop them into the world and just say, make it on your own. We have to be there to support them. That's now, grandmas might not always have all the money, but Trine knows she can call me up and say, Grandma, you know, today I just don't feel that great. I feel like I can't make it. My job is support her. Let her know you can do it. You can make it. Or, Grandma, my food is running low then I get the care package together. Yes. All of it works together to help push her to where she needs to go and help push any of them. So and, I'm speaking on the grandma's yeah, part. I, I, amen <laughs> to that. <laughs> it's creating that community. I want mm -hmm. us to now really begin to go into, because we're talking and we really, really touched on it, you, um, on the fact that not I actually really, um, with the divorce rate now in America mm. at 50% um, or 60%, something like that, you know, very high. Mm -hmm. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that not um, very many children are not growing up in the m more traditional mm -hmm. um, family mm -hmm. as we know it. Mm -hmm. They don't have the kind of privilege and the 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 blessing mm -hmm. of being you know being raised by a strong mother some viewer watching is saying you know oh wow good, good for you you know you're mm -hmm. lucky you know your yes. grandma your mother mm -hmm. and all of that i don't have that my mother is hooked on crack yes. uh, my mother is is not at home ever my you know i i don't have mm -hmm. anyone mm -hmm. really and i'm really left to kind of navigate life by myself you know, but what we want to like make that kind of viewer aware of, or that mother who's watching, who's mm -hmm. saying, you know what, I don't know what I did wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I did wrong. I did my best, but mm -hmm. my kids is not like Trini. Mm -hmm. My kids uh, is not that well spoken. My kids have chosen um, to not to go on um, to college and mm -hmm. to further education, mm -hmm. but. We want that kind of person to know that there are resources out there mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. that you can tap into. Mm -hmm. That at the click of a button, literally, you know, you can find information. You can go to events like this mm -hmm. and connect with other women. And, you know, scholarships are available. So, mm -hmm. you know, money is never um, yes. a, a reason, an excuse. Um, you work with nonprofits, and many of us, you know, would offer scholarships to those kind of programs. You know, you have no excuse mm -hmm. to not take advantage mm -hmm. of the kind of resources that are be, uh, is provided by people on this panel and a lot more of other organizations out there. Mm -hmm. And so that comes to mm -hmm. mentoring. That right. comes to the formal mm -hmm. mentoring that mm -hmm. young girls need because sometimes you don't get it all at home. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you're getting it at home and you're, you're not listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a good girl. She may be listening, but may not always mm -hmm. agree with you. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's nice to go into another setting outside of the home. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you think, oh, it's coming Absolutely. from mom. Okay, uh -huh. what, what, what better would she, has she got to say, you know? Mm -hmm. But when you go outside of home, the home environment, and they either reinforce what you're being told, or they open you up to that kind of information. Wow, light bulb moment, aha moment. You come begin to realize, it begins to resonate and say, yeah, okay, I need to do this, I need to do that, and do that, and the other. So let's talk more about the mentoring program okay. that the Connecticut um, um, Mentoring Partnership, partnership does. does. Yes. And what a little bit more about the kind of formal mentoring, how that works, yes. who can be a mentor, okay. and um, you know, how a viewer, for example, can tap into that resource. Okay. And, and then we're going to talk about, with you, before I lose my train of thought, just be, keep that in mind, is how do you also mentor women? Mm -hmm. yeah, there's that new, mm -hmm. uh, this new craze, mm -hmm. Teen Moms. Mm -hmm. How many of you watch that show? Mm -hmm. Where yes. 
teens that become mean mothers mm -hmm. or you know mm -hmm. how do you even mentor more mature women mm -hmm. you know peer mentoring of mm -hmm. of of how do you mentor a woman and give her what she didn't get mm -hmm. and tell her this is how you raise a daughter mm -hmm. because she didn't have somebody model that right. to her mm -hmm. so she doesn't have a clue mm -hmm. you know so i will quickly mm -hmm. speak on that yes. i know I, I caught you off on something you had something in, in your mind right you had a thought. So yeah. hold that thought. Yes. I wanted to I kind of hold, hold that thought. I didn't want to lose yes. my thought. So okay. you go, and then um, I want us to talk about that, mm -hmm. and then you, you okay. chip in. and then So um, Princess is starting all the conversations at the same time. Yes, and that's, so, I know. That's wonderful. You know, no one needs to feel alone, and mentoring really is about Absolutely. feeling connected to another person. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing to me is when I talk to a group of kids and they feel there's no one that listens to them. Yes. So a mentoring, mentoring is about a caring person accepting another person for who they are without judgment. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter mm -hmm. your size, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what you look like or your abilities, it's a person that's gonna accept you so you can blossom by mm -hmm. talking to that person and exploring, like you said, what are that person's strengths, yes. talents, interests. Yes. That person might not even know they're good at mm -hmm. something, but yeah. that mentor's gonna dig Absolutely. it out of them. Yeah. So I, like you, wanna encourage all the viewers to realize that there is a formal way okay. um, through the Governor's Prevention Partnership website, there are a hundred and fifty that we know of there might be more because I bet your mentoring programs probably not even with uh, registered yeah. with us uh, so they can go on the governor's prevention uh, partnership website find out where the mentoring par programs are and call up uh, mentors are people that care about young people you have to care mm -hmm. because yes. if you're impatient or you're judgmental that's Absolutely. not going to work we don't want mentors to give advice and Absolutely. say, you should do this mm -hmm. because that's not gonna work. It's, I care, I have time for you, what do you wanna do together? Mm -hmm. And then from there, the trust builds and yes. then the transformation. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes. and, and, and I wanted to say this, any big credentials required? You know, because you know, someone's listening no. out there and saying, hmm, I, I could give back, I have a few hours a week. I could give back something or the other, you know, yeah. but oh, I'm not credential. No. I don't have this big PhD. No. I'm not like Princess Paula, you know. I mean, you just have to be a caring person mm -hmm. that cares about kids. Um, there's nothing more to it than that. Mm -hmm. If you're nervous, just take a chance. You know, once you get talking, you can play games, you can do sports. It, there's ways to break the ice where you don't have to have a PhD in psychology. And so if you're just tuning in, this is Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power. And today on the show, we're talking about leading the next generation of women, the real debt that we owe. And um, we've reached the consensus of the panel. I have an amazing, diverse panel, as you can see, <laughs> of women. We've reached the consensus that, yes, we do owe the next generation a lot, quite a bit. You know, we talk about corporate social responsibility. And yes, there's personal individual responsibility that we owe them the support so we owe them the uh, mentoring we owe them you know just to equip them and to position them for success with the right tools mm -hmm. to advance mm -hmm. and so you know you've heard it all we've you've talked about the formal ways of of mentoring and and, and your, your, you've shared your website mm -hmm. and can you please share that again please yes preventionworkct.org preventionworkct.org so you go on there and you just go and find out what's available you know in terms of um, the kind of resources if you need you feel like you need a um, formal kind of mentoring and everyone could benefit trust mm -hmm. me even at my age mm -hmm. I am looking i'm mm -hmm. still seeking mm -hmm. i'm in need mm -hmm. of a mentor mm -hmm. you know we all at no mm -hmm. you know at every level you know Absolutely. there's always a next level and so you never really kind of outgrow it so Absolutely. you know if you're looking and you're watching today and you're saying you to yourself you know i don't have that kind of um family or pro structure you know and background that supports me hey tap into mm -hmm. resources come on down saturday october 20th Okay, at the University of Connecticut, Greater Hartford Campus in West Hartford, Connecticut. Go to TotalWomanConference.com to register. And if, look, it, you, you can't afford the registration, just email sponsor at TotalWomanConference.com. We will get you there. So you can tap into all kinds of um, resources and information and you can make connections. Mm -hmm. Connections mm -hmm. that will be strategic to your own advancement, to your own success. Mm -hmm. So make it a date, 
TotalWomanConference.com, Saturday, October 20th. I'm partnering with UConn, the University of Connecticut, and um, I look forward to seeing you there. Mm -hmm. And so now, talk to me about that, you know, either young mother or younger mother, not even so young mother, who's struggling, who's saying to herself, okay, wow, you know, you women are amazing. I must have done something wrong here because my child hasn't quite turned out, you know, or, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with this challenging child. But you've raised an amazing, um, amazing, not just one, um, she's one of four, and um, she, she's done, she's, they've come out very well, <laughs> not just well, and all that. So what would you say, what kind of advice will you give that kind of woman? What kind of tools, you know, because it is a little bit more challenging to raise... Um, it's, it's more challenging this day. Yes. There's than, so many distractions. Okay. You know, it's much easier, it was much easier the time that I did it, yeah. but now it is challenging so you really have to spend a lot of quality time with with your children okay time time, time investment you've heard it time investment mm -hmm. and that's what many women feel they don't have especially mm -hmm. if you're because they're a working single parent right. they're working. and you're working and working mm -hmm. those hours because mm -hmm. you want to at least keep food put food on the table mm -hmm. and we we hear you mm -hmm. you know and 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 that's a struggle and that's mm -hmm. trying to find the balance but you know this is the way somebody put it he said, you're only going to sacrifice mm -hmm. for a short while. Just it's going to come while. back to mm -hmm. you a million right. fold. Mm -hmm. You know, the sacrifice, you know. And what the kids really, truly want is it's love. love. Yeah, mm -hmm. Not buy things. Yeah, not That's things. not love. Time means love. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they, you have to spend time, conversations. Yeah. You have to talk with them. Mm -hmm. yes. Let them speak. You know, mm -hmm. let them say what their hearts are. We used to sit around the table with my four daughters and, how was your day? You know, yes. mm -hmm. I let them give their conversations, mm -hmm. their input of what, what went on in the course of the day. We have to take time to do that. And let me share this very quickly about letting, letting them talk. You know, this is very recently. I have two boys, <laughs> not girls, but um, I was listening to their conversation, eavesdropping on their conversation <laughs> um, the other day. And, um, you know, they were, you know, first we had gone to... Um, BJ's or well, you know to the store and um, Rihanna was being played, the music was you know and uh, my older son was really bumping and really you know he knew all the words and I'm thinking to myself where did that come from where did he, you, you know because that didn't come from my house yeah. nothing no offense to Rihanna but it just I don't believe in that the, I believe that the music, the words, and the kind of thing, it kind of influences, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I, I try and keep out all the raps and the negativity mm -hmm. and all the lustful things out of my home anyway. So I'm thinking, where did that come from? And then the next conversation, you know, was even a little bit um, R-rated, you know, kind of. And I almost interjected. But I said to myself, if Listen. I interject, mm -hmm. if I interject mm -hmm. and cut them cut off and scold them yes, off, yes. they would never mm -hmm. share mm -hmm. openly thing. in mm -hmm. front of me when I'm around. Mm -hmm. And then I wouldn't even know what's going, going on, on and right. how to, you know, yes. what kind of um, counteract. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's very important, you know, um, we want to sometimes jump in and, and parent and, and kind of, but it's important time, you've heard it, time, mm -hmm. and just creating that platform for them to speak. Now, you're a younger mom. I'm going to come to you. I promise you a training. Mm -hmm. um, you're a younger mom. Yes. You're, you're raising a younger, you know, like she said, it's a different time, a mm -hmm. different generation mm -hmm. here. And so what would you say to, you know, and by the grace of God, you Absolutely. know, we all say this by the grace of I God. Know yes. By the grace of God, by we're what we are, God, you know. Yes. Um, because there goes us. Or then, you, you know, you, we could be in your shoes, whatever mm -hmm. your shoes are, mm -hmm. you know. So we're not kind of sitting here saying, hey, we're up there and mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. So, but mm -hmm. by the grace of God, you know, and um, you've raised a dynamic. She's your eldest daughter. Yes. You know, and like I said, Trené is a nominee. I hope we'll be able to announce the board is reviewing now because part of the Total Woman Conference care mission is to celebrate, applaud, refresh, and equip. That's our care mission. So we applaud the often overlooked achievements of our young women. We have some dynamic young women mm -hmm. that need to be applauded. Mm -hmm. And so we receive nominations for the award and the Lieutenant Governor's Office via citation mm -hmm. comes to present nice. the awards at the conference. So she's a nominee. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so which is really great. It's a prestigious award that we're very proud of that we get 
nominations from across the straight mm -hmm. state. And um, so, you know, you, you, she's in college, mm -hmm. she's pursuing her dream in acting. And so you've raised, um, you know, a great daughter. Any tips, any strategies, any wisdom for that younger mom who's struggling? And, and what would you say? I would say, like um, Gardenia said, who was my mother, time is very important. Yes. And it's not so much the quantity of the time as to it is the quality of the time. Yes. That to the, to the mother who has to work, that single mother, spend quality time with your children and start very, very early. Our mentor group, the youngest we take is eight years old. Mm. And we train the eight-year-olds to begin to think about career, begin to think about things that you're good at, begin to think about things um, that, that you do well. You know, we, we teach them how to stand up and introduce themselves. They are also as, just as articulate as the older ones in the group are, and they're able to tell you what they want to be. We have sister-to-sister -sister empowerment. So we start early, and it's so important that you start early because... These children and young girls are getting into a lot of things early. Mm -hmm. yes. We did research. Yeah, I did yes. some research on, on, on sexuality. I did research on uh, yeah. domestic yeah. violence relationships. Um, AIDS is running rampant in the minority communities. Um, one of the things that we do is that we, we do a, a, um, a health and wellness empowerment, and we teach and we train the kids about sexual purity. You so know. basically, I, I don't mean to cut you. We mm -hmm. only have about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Like I told you, that time goes fast, so fast. fast. But basically, you're saying time. But yes. I also hear you saying that parents should not be afraid to step back mm -hmm. and allow others to mentor as well. Absolutely. So, you know, you're basically saying, okay, you feel that you might be struggling as a parent. Bring them to a mentoring program. Mm -hmm. yes. Enroll them for Absolutely. that. Mm -hmm. And reach out to the Latina and, and Power Symposium and the Institute Marilyn mm -hmm. Ross. Bring them to the Toro Woman Conference. Mm -hmm. We will talk to them. You know, mm -hmm. language they understand is designed for them. You know, we have dynamic speakers, amazing speakers. Lucinda Cross, Tegan Maddox, and, and um, Kate Siriganano, and myself will be speakers. And, you know, we, it includes networking, the features, networking and etiquette mm -hmm. and, you know, you name it. Bring them down there. If they don't want to come down with you, you send them, you know, you know, let, let them mm -hmm. go on their own. And, and then, or you come if they don't want to come. It's for women of all ages mm -hmm. and the, 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 the message is universal. Mm -hmm. The message is really universal. It's just that this one in the fall is for younger women, is designed for younger women. So Saturday, October 20th at Yukon, bring them down. So you're saying don't, uh, um, don't, don't um, be afraid to let others mentor Mentors. as well. Mm -hmm. Step back, you know, mm -hmm. don't be afraid. Of course, you have to exercise good judgment right. and make sure oh, yes. that they're good with the mentors. right people, yes, good mentors, right. and yes. that they represent yes. your values. Absolutely. I thought you were going to talk about faith. I think faith is oh, huge. Oh, absolutely. Faith, you know, is faith, huge. faith is huge. It is huge. In our mentor program, we have biblical studies. We, uh, we, we teach them about what the Bible says about sexual purity, what the Bible says about finances, what the Bible says about relationships, what the Bible says about conflict resolution, so that, how that to is live within. That is a huge part of Absolutely. raising, because I know you raised her as a woman of faith, and Absolutely. that's a very, the spiritual dimension mm -hmm. is so huge. Mm -hmm. Really, where you start young and give them that compass, mm -hmm. you know, you know, they may, you may think they're not listening, but somehow, you know, you train them up mm -hmm. in the way they in should the way, go, they won't depart. and then somehow that mm -hmm. word is there, the yeah. spirit Absolutely. is there, mm -hmm. guiding them and really keeping them in check, mm -hmm. you know, they mm -hmm. have conscience, yes. you know, which some of the kids don't have, so, you know, faith is important, um, um, excuse me, and Trené, now, as we begin to wrap up, as she's just waiting, so now is your <laughs> moment. Um, um, there are two things that I say yes. um, quickly, and to my friends, I all I always say, um, reverse the curse by being the first, because you know, Ooh, no matter. I love what, that. Say that again. Mm -hmm. Reverse the curse by, by being, being the, the first. first. Mm -hmm. You say that's a, yeah. that's <laughs> a, that's a good reverse the curse by being the first. Yeah. You know, pass you know, that no I love that one. Reverse the curse by being the first. Break that generational cycle, okay? Mm -hmm. No excuse. Mm -hmm. If you feel that you had an excuse before today, after today, you do not have an excuse. But there are resources out there. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a Latina woman, hey, you know, 
we brought one for you. If you feel, oh, my culture, you know, there's some cultural things you won't understand. Hey, Marilyn's here. Mm -hmm. She said it all. She's a guru. Mm -hmm. She's a well-known woman in that community. Mm -hmm. You've shared the word, the governor of prevention, CT, yeah. of the girls. Mm -hmm. From a motherly, you, that, there's that perspective, the, from the faith perspective. I mean, no excuse. What excuse do you have? Saturday, October 20. 2012 at the University of Connecticut Greater Hartford Campus mm -hmm. Total Women Conference for Girls and Young Women. I look forward to seeing you there. I mean, we're definitely not out of words, but we are out of time. I know, mm -hmm. out of time. It's been great having you on Inspired Success. Thank you for taking time, mm -hmm. you know, to just tune in on the program. And of course, you know, I love those feedbacks. You know, I thrive on them, you know. <laughs> so shoot me an email. Connect with me at royalproclamations.com. Of course, um, Inspired Success, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn. Connect with me, give me your feedback, join the conversation. Come on down October 20th, 2012, third annual Total Women Conference for Girls and Young Women. Fast Forward 10, that's our theme. We are creating our future today. I look forward to seeing you there. Ladies, oh my God, an amazing, <laughs> amazing panel of women. Thank you so much, Marilyn. Um, congratulations on um, Hispanic Heritage Month. I know you're mm -hmm. off to an engagement. Any closing remarks? Say goodbye to the um, viewers. No, I'm good. <laughs> you? Oh Thank you goodness. for having You're very inspirational. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you, Mara. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here. And Thank you. For and I look forward to seeing you on October 20th. Any closing words? For, say, tell a young yeah. woman, come on down. And there's another quote I say. I, got it, I, I saw it on television. It is, if it is to be, it is up to me. There, it is two, it's ten two-letter words. If it is to be, it, it is up to me. So yeah. reverse the curse by being the first. And, and, come, come, and, come, and come to the conference. Exactly. <laughs> October 20, 2012. I, I will be there. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> See, this is Princess Bola, the total success coach, reminding you to keep smiling. Hey, come on, put a smile on your face. Life's too short. Yes. <laughs> yes. Keep believing. Mm. Keep networking. Ha, ha, ha. Keep networking. Keep learning. Keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I look forward to seeing you next month. God bless. Thank you.